So we're talking about Curve Industries skis today. After we do a quick run through about what options they have and a little bit about the company, I'm gonna do a quick video of basic installation of all the hardware and what they have to offer. So Curve is gonna be at Heydays this year, the booth F13. So if you are going to Heydays, check them out. Curve does have an XM line for mountain riding. Along with an XSM line for 50-50 on trail, off trail riding. And a XS line for cross country racing and trail riding. And a couple other neat skis that I'll show you here briefly. So again, if you get some time, check out the website and what they have to offer. So getting into a little bit about Curve. So it looks like the founders started from Rochester, New York. They're from that area and now they are in central New York. So I'm from New York, I'm from Rochester. Um, I think it's important to support local. Um, tried a different couple uh, brand skis, like I said, uh, just find these to be the best for um, the type of riding I do. And I don't plan on going back whatsoever. Um, all right, so a little bit about the skis. I know I told you about the XS, which is their um, trail ski. I think personally it's more of like a 75, 25 ski, 75 on, 25 off. It's capable off trail. Um, the areas that I ride, Old Forge, Tug Hill, there's really no off trail riding. But for the fields and stuff, I do play around off trail. Um, never had any issue with flotation or carving or anything of like that. So this ski is actually used in the USCC or the core power sports cross country series, um, along with snow cross series. It does have a seven and a half inch footprint and a pretty deep keel. And the one thing I like about it is it's not a 90 uh, degree keel on it. Um, it's more of a um, bowed shape to it to help with some forgiveness, especially on those transition from like a icy trail to a soft trail. I find that these skis give you just a little push, if any, in the, in the corner, so you don't have that inside ski lift. They do have a bunch of colors as you can see here, um, this high vis color is pretty slick. That just came out a year or so ago. And same thing with this fuchsia color. Just so you know, all the skis are sold individually. And to purchase these skis, you're gonna have to get, as you can see down here, the loop, loop hardware mount kit and some carbides. One nice thing about it, if you click down here, they have a nice how-to section. Oop, wrong one here. Here we go. Installation and how to set the toe on the ski, what they recommend. All right, so the next ski is the XSM, which is the XS mountain version, which is a traditional 50-50 ski, um, which it looks like as of two, 2018, um, they had a little adjustment to their, their lineup. And they, uh, they upgraded it. So I guess they 
they made a all new mountain profile uh, to increase side hilling and carbon performance. But this ski is still powerful on the, the trail riding where you, you know, it's better performance than, than stock. It's not gonna have as much bite, as much performance as the XS version. But if you're running like an Assault or an SKS or, or something of that line, or maybe a, a Riot, and you, you like to do that 50-50 uh, type riding, this is a pretty good ski to go with here. And again, if you have any questions about this, I'm no expert by any means. Um, I have a little knowledge about this company, but give them a call and they'll set you up. So the XM line is their mountain configuration. So I'm not familiar with the mountain lineup whatsoever, so I'm not gonna really speak on that, but it's a 7.6 inch wide footprint with an aggressive 1.6 inch keel. Um, and if you look at the profiles here, they have some nice grips in the skis and it tapers off nicely in the back. And there's a bottom profile of the ski. So these two skis I think are pretty slick. The XDP and the XDI ski. So these skis are for water cross or grass drag or hill climbs. So the XDP is a 20 inch ski. Um, these skis have been helped win multiple titles for D&D racing, bikeman performance, Excel Motorsports, etc. Uh, definitely less drag or less drag um, when you're running on a more abrasive surface like grass. And they have all the other colors here, their new color lineup. And then the XDI. All right, so one of the cool things about Curve is they have a ski trade-in programs. And if you can hear that, my dogs are going crazy. Someone's walking up to the door. So the ski trade up program, you buy a set of skis a year or two down the road. You want to upgrade, you want to get something else. The color that you have on your current sled, it's not going to go with your, the new wrap you want to do or the next sled you're going to buy. You can actually ship these skis in to curve and they have a ranking system based on A, B, C, or D. They'll review your skis and inspect them. And then they'll let you know how much of a refund or how much of a, how much they would deduct off your new purchase of skis based on your trade-in. Uh, I think that's pretty cool, especially for someone like me who likes to get different wraps every so often and upgrades their, their sleds pretty frequently. So again, all the criteria has, must be met and it actually gives you a breakdown of what each grade means. All right, so the loops, currently they only have one loop out there, which is the XSX loop. So the XSX loop I think it's easier to hold on to if you're using it to move a stuck sled or to try to move it around the shop, you need to grab a hold of it. You definitely have a more ergo handle grip. 
and they're saying that um, it's bringing a reduced weight of 1.5 pounds. So that's pretty slick. So again, the skis and the loops are all sold individually. So just make note of that. And then you got to buy the loop hardware. So the loop hardware, you can get zinc coated or stainless. I prefer stainless, it doesn't rust, and it looks a lot cleaner. All right, so some accessories here by Curve. The mounting kit. So this is the kit you need when you purchase the skis. It comes with a couple bushings, a couple through bolts, washers, and nuts, and ski blocks. Any sled you can think of that's current, they're gonna have a kit for you. And again, you're only gonna need one kit. Carbides, they have Woody's, Stud Boy, and Curve has their own carbides. You could purchase them through Curve based on what ski you have and the length you want to run based on your application. Uh, it has a quick guide down here if you want to use it as a reference based on length and studs. All right, so the leading edge. The leading edge, I think, is pretty nifty. So this is a kit that can be installed and it actually runs in front of your carbide. So if you're from, especially up in New York, where you get 12, 18 inches of snow, and then a week later you're going to get some rain, those trails harden up, get pretty icy, get pretty hard. Um, a lot of people can experience darting and tracking on their sleds. I have not noticed significant darting issues with these curve skis based on fact, based compared to factory. But this is an option if your sled's more prone to that. And the cool thing about this is there's no reduction in top speed. So if people are worried about running these and they like to rip across the lake, uh, they're claiming there's no reduction in top speed. And it's not going to increase the effort of steering. And that's what I like about these curved skis compared to other brands. I've tried them all. A couple other companies, by the end of the day, it's so hard to turn. I'm sore by the end of it. These skis are effortless. And again, they're gonna have an, an owner's manual here for installation. Now with these, they're gonna have a template. Purchase this template, go to their manual, and it's gonna tell you how to make these installs. You're going to have to drill a couple of extra holes to secure these in here. I have not used these. So again, I'm just going based on the research that I've done. I haven't seen the need to run these. Um, but for those who like to run dual carbides or um, other options that are out there that are similar to this, there is an option for the ski. All right, so again, I forgot to mention one more accessory here. Thruster. So like other brands out there, they have attachments that are gonna help you get more inside bite or outside bite depending on your application, how you wanna set it up. Um, you can turn your ski based on the inside or the outside. It can help with additional flotation based on which direction you have it or increase cornering. 
and performance. Um, again, this has a manual on proper installation. I have not tried this. Um, I haven't seen a need for it in my application, but again, some people um, like to use these on their, their skis. All right, so lastly for the accessories, loop plates. They look cool, but more importantly, they're used for hill drag races and flat drag races where the finish line laser is gonna trip on this plate uh, before this, before any other part of the sled does to help give you that, that edge there. All right. Lastly, I know I told you they have some different manuals here, but if you go to Curve's YouTube page, they have quick breakdowns of their products. Um, the Curve Thruster, a little bit more about it. Installation of the skis, installation of the loop plates, installation of the thrusters, installation of the leading edge, uh, ski assemblies, and I'm gonna kinda go through a real quick basic install of the loops and the hardware there. Um, the sled that I'm gonna be mounting these new ones on are gonna be on a 2022 XGR 136. Um, so once that sled gets here, I'll do a quick install on that. Um, so if you hit, lastly, if you hit the support page, all right, if you go to manuals, they have, again, everything uh, that I previously told you about, but they also have a catalog. Now the catalog just gives you a little bit more information on the tech behind it. Um, quick breakdown more of the XS ski, the XM ski, the XDI skis, the color options, Again, water cross application. Blue plates, the leading edge. And yeah, check them out. Check out the web page. Um, again, my personal humble opinion is obviously I like curve. That's why I applied to partner up with them and I've been running their skis probably for the last three to four years as you can see on the race sled you got a set of their XS skis good bite a lot better than the factory skis the new loops installed here they look pretty good so obviously I am not running an Articat this year. Switched over to Polaris for the first time. As you can see, I'm a big Articat fan. But I just wasn't happy with their 2022 release. So I'll do a little unboxing here for you guys.
We have a pretty good contrast there. I will be wrapping this sled. I have a couple different options here I'm going to go with with the wrap, but it's going to be gray, black, and red as well. Comes with accessory kit for the skis, stainless, no rusting, as well as new rubber blocks for the skis. And of course, Curve always hooks you up with a couple stickers put on as well. So I'm going to go ahead here and assemble. All right, so with the ski, through bolt goes through here. And then on the bottom of their ski, you can see this is going to fit right in there. All right, so again, fits right in there. So on the Articag here, you got the through bolt that goes through down here, but you only had the one bolt that goes here and you can see underneath there. It looks like it's a new design that they had for this new ski, which is nice. 14. So that's how you're gonna be able to hold it, and make sure you tighten it up. This piece here, just put a little deep creep into it, make it go in, grease, whatever you wanna use. Just lightly tap it in with a hammer and it's gonna go flush right down there. This here, slide that right in. And as you can see, hopefully you can see down there, it sits in just like that. And then the rest is pretty self-explanatory. Gonna bolt that up there and I'm just gonna tighten that up. All right, so once I got that snug, I'm gonna flip this over here. Put my 14 right here. Let's tighten this bad boy down. And as you can see, Gently secure that on there, make sure I'm not pinching anything crazy. And again, just snug enough where nothing's gonna strip through. So this is good. Some people put red Loctite on, I don't. I mean, I switch everything around all the time, so I'm definitely not gonna be um, putting some red Loctite on it. And I'm gonna skip through this BS and get through the, the second one. And there we have it, folks. Finished project. I want to say thanks to Kerr for giving me an opportunity to sponsor me this year. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to get some races in. I'm hoping to be able to race at the Jerry Rice Racing. Do some hill climbs, do some flat drags at the base track. Nothing too crazy this year. I'm going to run the sled pretty much stock. Big shout out to D&D &D Racing. I'll be running their products as well. I think they make some excellent products, especially for Articats and Polaris. Man, these skis look sharp. And I'm definitely digging that gray and red contrast here. Now, one of the things I wanna say with this ski, it definitely improves the off-trail riding ability. 
Curve does have an XM for their mountain lineup, which is more a 70% off trail, 25% on trail. I think this ski here, after riding it for several years, I think it's an ultimate 50-50 ski. Definitely never had any issues with any loss of bite on trail. If anything, I think it gives you a little uh, push in the corner where you don't have that inside ski lift that makes you feel uncomfortable. If anything, it's the right amount of push in the corner where you can really open it up and be confident around that corner. So definitely liking these skis. I think everybody should look into Curve. They have drag racing skis, watercross skis, and then the XM for the mountain trails and the XS for the racing and trail application. So thanks all for watching. I appreciate it and uh, stay tuned for more content to come this year.